yeah, well, it's not much of a problem, but I dare say people have divorced for less. And in interest of lowering blood pressure and living longer, I'll go through my take on the design and 3D printing of a toothpaste tube squeezer so nobody need fail the toothpaste personality test. For those that want to cut to the chase, there is a timeline index in the description. The first step was looking at Thingiverse to see if there was something ready to go, and yes, unsurprisingly, a plethora of versions. Seems to be two broad categories, the plate or key version, which is nice, simple and functional, and the roller type, with or without a ratchet mechanism. No fun in nice and simple, so I went with the roller type. Reading through the various comments, lots of complaints about being flimsy and breaking during use, and the examples that roll up the toothpaste tube in an enclosure, while looking neat, apparently led to breeding mould and dirt. So the open frame type it is. And Thingiverse designer Niho 3 d already looked at functional design parameters, such as having a finger-friendly size key, and having a removable, replaceable pawl for the ratchet. But unfortunately, the STLs provided didn't seem to be complete, and would not fit my size of toothpaste tube in any case, so need to homebrew a version. So using these various ideas, with measurements from my situation, I roughed out a design that would later be entered with Fusion 360 to generate the 3D models for printing. The key holds the toothpaste tube and in conjunction with the frame, rolls to squeeze the contained toothpaste to the top of the tube. The ratchet and pawl mechanism stop the wound up tube from unwinding, as the plastic from which the toothpaste tube is made is quite rigid. Roughing out the design and thinking of various part dimensions, makes the later entry into Fusion 360 easier, and this parametric approach allows easier resizing later if necessary, particularly for leaving allowance between moving 3D printed parts, which tends to take some trial and error. But with my 3D printed setup, 0.2mm will give a nice tight fit, but still allow easy rotation. With the rough design done, onto Fusion 360 for the 3D modelling. Using parameters is important, as this allows easy changes later, and this proved to be necessary, as after the first 3D printed copy, the physical versions showed that the pawl didn't work properly, as you will see later. I won't describe all the steps I took in the entry of the design into Fusion 360, this is just here more for completeness. Happy to explain any Fusion 360 questions in the comments, and will get advice back on how I could have done this more efficiently. Anyway, obviously feel free to skip ahead to the 3D printing and assembly. I use Cura for the 3D slicing in G-code, 
The only thing to particularly note is the orientation of the pawl component as shown. Placing it on its side means the layer lines will be parallel to the action of the ratchet, making it stronger and likely to last longer. The pawl is removable, so if it does break, you only need to reprint this small part and not the entire frame. As I said, I use Cura for the 3D slicing, with the parameters noted on the screen. Once you have all the 3D printed parts, the frame, the ratchet, the pawl, and the key, the assembly is simply to insert the key into the frame. This should be a tight fit, but still easily rotated. Then clip on the ratchet wheel. Note that the points of the ratchet teeth face the bottom. And then insert the pawl. Should be good to go. Yeah, right. Needed to make the pawl insert further into the frame so that it would not fly off. Okay, second attempt. Nice one. Now with the tube of toothpaste. Seems all good. And now just checking with the tube that is relatively full. I also noticed that since the key is a nice tight fit in the frame, you don't seem to need the pawl and ratchet, as when wound the tube remains in place. However, this may change over time as the PLA parts wear and or other brands of toothpaste tube are used. I've provided a version of the key that doesn't use the ratchet and is flush with the end of the frame. Again, not sure if the tight fit may change over time as the PLA wears, and to make allowance for tubes that may be smaller than that used in the design, there is provision made for including a paper clip or similar as a retaining clip to stop the key from sliding out of the frame. Well that's it. If you found this helpful and or entertaining, I would appreciate if you could take the time to like, comment and or subscribe.